Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying with Jim Ashura. Today I'm going to tie a booby fly. This fly is designed for, I think mostly for lakes, reservoirs. And, but you can use them in rivers. You generally use these on a sink tip line with a short leader. And that gets that fly down close to the bottom of the lake and it's however long your leader is that's how far off the bottom it will be I'm going to uh, tie an orange one here and this the hook that I have in the vise this is just a uh, size 6 uh, standard length nymph hook and we're going to start you know Start the thread behind the eye, and I'm going to come back just about maybe one and a half eye lengths from the eye of the hook. Now this booby fly has a has foam eyes, and here I have this is quarter inch uh, round foam, and this I actually got from this was the piping from an old chair or an old couch or something like that and I took this out of the material out of the piping material so I'm going to take this and we're going to cut this at about three quarters of an inch long three quarters to one inch and if you want these eyes to be round what you're going to do is just cut off the the square spots but I I believe leaving them uh, flat on the end it would probably be good it's probably just as good so we're gonna tie this in right in the middle going forward give it about three or four turns then you can go ahead and pull it sideways And we're going to do the opposite direction. Another thing I do too is go under the eyes and over the hook shank. And that will pull that thread all together. Kind of make it a little bit tighter. But don't be shy on the amount of wraps you put to hold the eyes in. Because this could turn very easily. So now I got the eyes on there. I'm going to move my thread back to the rear. This is really an easy fly. Now you could go ahead and put a little bit of uh, head cement on your eyes, just like as if you would if you were tying a clouser minnow. I'm going to take some uh, super glue, and the cap is actually stuck to it. I can't get it off, so I just poked a hole in the side you can see there's a little bit of glue sticking out take a regular needle or your bodkin needle I have just that little drop on there put that right down inside there and you could even get it on the top And that will secure those in place. Now this is a so such a simple fly. There's several ways you can tie this. I saw it tied with a with like a uh, cactus chenille for the body and then a wing coming off the front. But the way they most of them are tied is with a tail on the back and a chenille body. So I'm just going to take a burnt orange. These are really nice blood feather marabou. And when they refer to blood feather, it means a very skinny stem. So I'm just going to take a bunch of them off the side of this. Gather them all together there. And now the tail could be 
I, I like to have it about the length of the hook, maybe just slightly longer. So we're going to go ahead and tie this in. I'm going to fold this back and secure that. Now, the way the book says to do it, you know, with the chenille, you would trim this off. And I have a burnt orange ultra chenille, and I would use that. But instead of that, to make it even easier, I'm going to use this marabou as the body. And it kind of gives it a little bit of a, more of a action to it, because there's going to be little fibers sticking off it. Bring my thread right to the front of the eyes going to take the chenille and twist that and then we're going to go ahead and wrap it and you can see you're getting that extra little fluff on there I come up to the eyes get that really close there I'm going to put one wrap between the eyes and bring that forward Yep, if, if my chenille is long enough. There we go. Then we're going to tie that down. And I'm going to trim off that excess in the front. Get that really close. Now we're going to wrap that head. Make sure we keep that eye clear with all of that marabou there. And you can see there was a couple shorter ones there. We can just break those off. And we have the uh, booby fly with uh, some nice body you can see underneath you don't see that that uh, thread underneath there but I'm gonna go ahead and make a second one there we go go ahead and trim that off orange was the color in the book so and since I got some, the super glue that I used was a gel and it doesn't set really quick, so I don't really need any head cement on there. But there's that. And I left those eyes that color, that white color, or it's kind of a dun color, but white. I'm going to go ahead and make another one. Put our thread on there. And this one, just as I'm tying here, I'm thinking I'm going to put a bigger base of thread down. I'm going to go all the way to the back on this one. And I'm going to move that thread back forward. Once again, I'm going to take the take about three quarters of an inch of my foam. I'm sure you could get Rainey's cylindrical foam in quarter inch. Go ahead and tie this on. And then we're going to push that sideways. And when you go to turn it from going along the shank to sideways, it, it wants to always come back to the original position, so it takes a lot more wraps. And we'll go ahead and go underneath the eyes. Bring my thread back. 
going to take a drop of the glue once again and you don't need much Now we're going to take our marabou feather and I'm going to just take the remainder of that one feather that I just used. Got a more precise tail here and that's fine and here's the other one where the tail isn't as as thick but it doesn't matter. Different ones I would tie them, dif tie them differently and then we're going to measure the tail and you can make the tail short or long it's kind of like a woolly bugger without the hackle. Yeah, we're going to tie that in. And I'm going to bring that thread forward. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, trim that. Now I'm going to go ahead and tie in that chenille. And this ultra chenille, you can't really pluck the end off to get to the uh, threads. So I'm going to make it keep that tag in the length of the body to keep it consistent. And bring that forward and bring that thread back up in front of the eyes. And then it's just going to take one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'll bring that chenille up to the front of the eyes. And this is a bit cleaner because you have that chenille. Ooh, I got one bad wrap there. I, I caught an eye. And we can tie off the head. Take our whip finish, put the hook over the thread, around the camel hump, bring it back. There's our X. We invert it, bring it in there close, and I'm going to hold those eyes out of the way. Yeah, three to six. I think I did six on that particular one. And here we have our booby. We got that piece, little piece of chenille right there to cover that over. And then you could go ahead and do something. I took my marker and colored those eyes orange. So I have a solid orange. And here is another one that I just put the orange on the outside. This, uh, this is more of an attractor than it is to imitate any particular bait. But these work good. I... What I've read is a lot of, a lot of good things. They're very good uh, flies. Anyway, I hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends, and if you do subscribe, please hit the like and notify button so you don't miss any of my videos. Please visit my sponsors. Let them know that I sent you. Leave comments, questions, suggestions. If you'd like to purchase this or any flies from me, go to etsy.com slash shop slash the flyman gym. And if you don't see it there, just send me a message and I'll get right back to you. And most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.